Hello and welcome to week 30 of the Country Garden Crochet Along and this week we're making our first corner square which is the Paris stitch. So how do we make it? Okay so we're starting with a chain for this one. So if you chain tight you might find it best to go up a uh, chain size for your foundation chain before going back to the 5mm for the rest of the pattern. So we start with a foundation chain of 20. Now I always make my turning chains count as the first stitch, so I've marked uh, the first stitch for my hook, so that'll be my first stitch. Okay, so in the third chain from your hook, one, two, three, we're going to make another single crochet, and we're going to single crochet in each stitch across. Okay, so we're just starting with a a sturdy row of single crochet before we get into the pattern proper. So at the end of this row you should have 19 stitches including that turning chain. Okay, oops. So I'll just get to the end of this. This is a quite um Nice little stitch because it's a one row repeating pattern, the Paris stitch. And once you start getting into it, it goes quite quickly. There we go. Almost there. So really we're just doing this single crochet row to uh, make sure we've got the right length and number of stitches. As the we need an odd number of stitches for our length and the Paris stitch is all worked in double crochet. Okay, so there we go. So we have 19 single crochet, including that turning chain at the end. Right, so row two, and we're gonna start with the repeating pattern. So we turn and chain one. And we're going to make a double crochet turning chain. Ooh, that was rather loose, let me just do that again. Don't like loose bits. <laughs> right, double crochet, turning chain in your first stitch. Let's grab a stitch marker. And in the same stitch we're going to make another double crochet. Okay, so we're going to skip the next two stitches and in the stitch after that, we're going to make two double crochet. Both in the same space. Then chain two. And in the same space as your double crochet, you'll make a single crochet. Okay, so you're going to have that shape there. Okay, so now we're going to skip the next two stitches and we'll repeat in the next stitch. So, two double crochet. Chain two. And then in the same space as your double crochet, make a single crochet. And just we're gonna repeat that till the end of the row. Skip the next two stitches. And in the next stitch, all in the same space, we're going to make two single two double crochet, then chain two, and still working in that same stitch, make a single crochet. Skip two and the next stitch, same again. And this is the repeating pattern for the whole stitch. So it's a nice easy one to remember and once you get to the flow of it it's really it does work up really quick and one two hang on just make sure I've got one two Yep, sorry. 
skip the next two and same again two double crochet in the same stitch chain two single crochet and then we skip the last two stitches and in that last stitch which is our chain space not a chain space, the turning chain we're going to make two double crochet okay, come on, there we go so it's two double crochet in that last stitch And there we go, so you have these series of little bumps across the row. Okay, now we're going to turn chain one. So this is a repeating pattern, but it's just because we're not working into the single crochet and rather into our pattern now. I'll show you how this is done. Okay, so we turn, we chain one, and in the first stitch we're going to make a double crochet turning chain. that in there and we're going to make another double crochet in the same stitch right then so we're going to skip the chain space and the single crochet nope sorry that's the wrong way around we're going to skip the double crochet chain and it's got backwards something of it's forward so this is the double crochet this stitch here hang on let me get that's the double crochet space and this next stitch here is the single crochet space we're going to be working into the chain spaces okay so we're skipping everything else and we're only working into that chain two space for this row okay so straight into the chain space you're making two double crochet chain two and into the same chain space make a single crochet okay. and we do the same again skip the double crochet and the single crochet stitches and go into the chain space so the chain space will always be at the top of this bump okay right there you can pull it out and see it there into there Make your two double crochet, chain two, into the same chain space, make your single crochet. Okay, into the next chain space, two double crochet, chain two, let's grab some more yarn. and a single crochet in the same chain space right, jump to the next chain space make two double crochet chain two and single crochet in that chain space okay and then last one Last chain space, two double crochet, chain two, and single crochet in the same space. Okay, so to finish off the row, we skip the double crochet and the single crochet, we go to our last stitch in the row, and you're going to make two double crochet in that stitch one and two and that is how it's going to look so that was row three and you're going to repeat row three until you reach row 18 okay so you're just working in the chain spaces so just make sure you have those two double crochet in the first stitch and other end 
and then just make your two double crochet, chain two, single crochet into each chain space. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that and I shall come back to you at the end of row 18. So there is your Paris panel complete. Okay. And this one's going to get attached between your bicolour um, single crochet panel and your ribbon stitch. Okay, and to join it, you're going to make two whip stitches in the side of every row, and across the top, you'll make a whip stitch into every double crochet and one whip stitch into the chain space and that will give you the stitch count you need okay and it's just one whip stitch into each stitch across the bottom and then that is that week complete so thank you for joining me and I shall see you next week for our next panel bye for now